Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's me, Mysterious Cameron, and today I am reviewing a fan film called Bright Star, right? Yeah, I think that's what it's called. Um, yeah, just, it's a Star Wars fan film that I watched a few hours ago. It's day old. Oh, uh, let me find the video. Yeah, 22 hours ago at the point of recording this, probably going to go on in 20, 30 minutes, about a day. That's actually pretty good for me. Um, yeah, this fan film was pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to do a full review on this thing. Um, I'll admit, this fan film was pretty good. This fan film was really good, actually. Um, it was, it was, it's like Darth Maul Prentice kind of screwed up all other Star Wars fan films, which is probably a video I'm going to have to make, how Lotus screwed up Marvel fan films and stuff, but keep getting sidetracked on these videos. Can't keep doing that. Um, before we get into the review, if you haven't already voted for the Fan Film Awards 2023, vote, vote, vote. There are, this fan film is not on list because it released after the ballot released a few weeks ago. However, there are 24 incredible fan films on the list. Vote, vote, vote. There are some incredible fan films on there. All of them are incredible. Um, just vote for whichever one you think is best. We really want to see definitively what is the best fan film of the year. Besides that, let's jump into the review. So, this is a short Star Wars fan film. Um, I'm going to first begin by saying it's not pushing new ground. Um, there are some Star Wars fan films. There are few there's a few, but there are some Star Wars fan films that really push the boundaries of what is, like, the Star Wars universe. They're like, wow, I did not expect that to happen. I feel like a lot of them, though, do stay very contained in Star Wars universe. I think that's the very big difference between a Star Wars and a Marvel fan film. I think the Star Wars fan films normally are very contained in the universe. And honestly, I think they're normally what better made than Marvel fan films. I think Marvel fan films really try to go bigger and better. I don't know. There's probably a bigger discussion to be had, but it, I just feel like a lot of Star Wars fan films are contained very much grounded inside that universe. There are a few that go above and beyond. This wasn't one of them. That's not necessarily saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's more like... It's nothing... If you have seen the Star Wars movies, you're not going to be confused. Like, you're not going to be... Oh, that's like a huge thing. It's going to be very much like... You're not going to be confused at any points. It does add the, um, the yellow lightsaber. That's a very interesting plot point. And it has these special abilities. I think that's a very good plot point. I think they needed to touch on it more. I think part of the issue with it is that it's short. I personally have said that I think if you can stretch a story a little longer, I think the story is most likely going to benefit from it. I think this is a very good example of that. I think if you added two minutes to the story, literally one scene of them discussing the saber... And I get there was a whole thing about like them wanting it to be a surprise. I completely understand that. But even if they explain in this box is some mysterious power, or even... Sp I, I get the show, don't tell thing, but there are things they could have done to explain it a bit more, to try to add a little more lore, to add more mystery. I think that could have added something to it. I also think her Jedi abilities could have been built on a bit more. I think it goes a little out. I think that works in like a movie or a show when they build it up so much. I think in... This amount of time, it didn't just work so much for me. I feel like it was a little too, like, rushed. Like, oh, she can do that now at the end, like, when, with the rocks. But I think those are, like, small things. Those are just, like, nitpicks overall. I thought it was really good. Um, it looked incredible. Everything about it just had, like, a really good visual aesthetic. Like, it just looked visually really good. Um, I feel like I just said the same thing three times in a row, but it's okay. Um... Yeah, I think it, like, the lightsabers. I think many Star Wars fan films go above and beyond when it comes to lightsaber effects. This is another one. Um, it looks really good. I think the yellow lightsaber, the bright star, um, is that what it's called? Yeah, I think. It's a little too bright. I guess that the, that's the extent it, they were going for, a little too bright. It, But I think that actually sacrificed a little from it. I think it looked too, like, it looked too much, almost. Like, I think... It would have been cool if there was other things they could have done. But I get they're trying to make it look bigger and better. But I think it looked too messy, in a sense. Like, the other lightsabers looked so clean, and I feel like this one just looked too messy, in a sense. But that's also another thing that's, like, little. But overall, I thought this really looked good. Let's go into the six points. Um, directed. This was directed really well. I think there was a lot of pretty cool shots in it. And I also liked how they were cutting between the scenes and the, per and the um, girl with the bow. Thought that was very good looking. Um, editing was pretty good. I thought everything looked really good in this thing. Um, and yeah, 
even the CGI in this was really good. There was a lot of CGI in this, and I thought everything just looked good. Um, acting was pretty good. Um, and acting was pretty good. There weren't so many characters, and we didn't get much of the characters, but that's also what you expect from a Star Wars short film. The story was fine. Again, for me at least, I'm not a huge fan of short films. I prefer longer stories when you get more with the characters, when you can learn more about the world. That's just my personal preference. I'm not a huge fan of short films. I know there are people who love short films and feel like this is like their perfect thing when they can quickly sit down, watch a Star Wars story, and say, oh, that's it with these characters. I understand if that's what you like. For me, I prefer something with a bit of a longer story when we get more with the characters, more with the world, more exposition. But that is just my personal preference. And I feel like that can sometimes benefit Star Wars fan films because the majority of the time, Star Wars fan films are original characters or characters we have not at least seen on screen. So when it comes to like Marvel fan film, if you know who Captain America is, you're going to get at least a decent amount of story or Spider-Man or something. Even if these characters are in the comics, I guess that. But if you like haven't seen, if they're not in the films, it does add a little bit of confusion. But I think that's just, that's just something like for me, at least I don't love, but I think it's still, I think the film's still good. I just think, for me personally, I prefer longer films, and I feel like it's also... I think if you can make a bit of a longer film, I think there's no reason not to. Because I think it's better to then tell that story. Um, Choreography was pretty good. I thought all the fight scenes in this looked really good. Especially some of the ways they were doing with the lightsabers. Um, I think the the way they did the lightsabers in Ahsoka, I personally was a huge fan of with, like, the... Because I, like, have to study choreography because that's something I do a lot with in my projects. But I thought the choreography in that film looked really... I think it looked really good the way they were handling lightsabers and all that. Personally, it was a very... It was a style of lightsabering that was more rough. In a sense, more like move, move instead of the more elegant way that Ahsoka would do it. But I still thought it was good. I still thought it was good. I just feel like it was an interesting idea for this character who was said to be like this incredible force user, but it was a little rough with the lightsaber ring. I thought it looked really good, though, especially when they did that jump and everyone, like, slammed down. That was, I was like, wow, that actually looked really good. Um, music, also, music in this was incredible. Um, I was a little thrown off when they did the Star Wars thing. It wasn't like the bum, but I thought it was still good. Overall, I thought this fan film was pretty good. Um, was it my favorite Star Wars fan film? No. I know it was, like, internationally acclaimed fan film, like, best fan film or something. It was very good. I think it told an interesting story. For me, it just wasn't my favorite. Um, I do think a lot of the shots looked good. I think, overall, it told a very good story. I just think it was very short. I think there was some ideas that were introduced and characters introduced that they needed more time to be flushed out. Like... Even some short Star Wars fan films, like Darth Maul is a short fan film, but we know who Darth Maul is, so we don't need so much time. Like, I feel like that's just part of it. But I'm not saying that necessarily makes this fan film bad. I'm just saying that's like a small nitpick for it. I feel like it could look... I feel like they could have gone for two more scenes with these characters. I think that would have added so much to the film. But overall, I nitpicked a lot in this review, but I think that kind of actually shows how much better this fan film is. Like, if there's a fan film that I'm just saying, like, oh, I didn't like the camera work in this, or I didn't like the music, or I didn't like the choreography, then you can say, like, oh, then maybe that's something to work on. But if everything I'm saying is, like, small little things that, like, are like, okay, that's just a small thing that I can fix in two seconds, then that isn't... Then that's, like, a nitpick, and that means it's a good thing, kind of, like, almost, like, it's, like, oh, that's easily fixable, instead of, like, a bigger issue... Because nitpicks are, like, so small that they're, like, oh, I, I kind of, like, because it's so good, you have to find something wrong with it, in a sense. But I thought this was incredible. Besides that, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already seen The Phantom War 2023, vote, 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 vote now. Um, yes, 24 incredible fan films on it. Vote for whichever one is your favorite. Besides that, thank you so much for watching this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.